Spray Backstop a method to reduce orchard spray drift potential without limiting the spray and air delivery. Unmanaged spray drift from orchard pesticide application contributes to environmental contamination and causes a significant danger to farm workers, nearby residential areas, and neighbors' crops. Almond acreage in California has increased to over 1.4 million acres in the last few years. Each bearing acre receives at least four to six pesticide applications per year. Obtaining a full spray coverage in almond trees is challenging due to their height and dense canopy structure. Ground spray application delivers more spray residue to the lower canopy, while the middle canopy and treetops receive inadequate coverage. To have a uniform deposition, especially in the treetops, it is a regular practice to use more airflow and nozzles that create a smaller droplets. But the excessive airflow and a small droplet size required to deliver the spray to the treetops also increase the potential for off-site movement of pesticides through the air. On the other hand, most drift control approaches do not guarantee adequate and uniform canopy spray coverage. We developed a spray backstop system that could block drifting from the top without any negative impact on spray coverage and on target deposition. It includes a foldable mast and a shade structure that covers the trees from the top. We used a continuous loop sampling system by stretching a cotton ribbon around two rows of trees to assess and quantify the effectiveness of a spray backstop on reducing drift potential. A spray cloud could lift the ribbon from its rest position when the backstop system was not used. But the ribbon remained in its rest position while the sprayer equipped with the backstop system was passing under. A comparison between the two shows that the backstop system could effectively block the spray cloud so the ribbon did not change position. This observation was validated by the fluorometry analysis of dye deposition on the ribbons. The pattern of dye deposition on the ribbon with and without the backstop system shows that spray backstop can significantly block those droplets escaping from the treetops and potentially becoming off-target drift. Using leaf sampling, we found that a spray backstop technique for reducing drift potential does not change overall canopy deposition, while it potentially helps to improve deposition on treetops. Since the backstop system blocks the spray cloud above the trees, the sprayer can be adjusted for finer droplets and more air that will potentially improve the position on top sections of canopy that would otherwise receive poor spray coverage. A spray backstop can address a significant public concern about pesticide applications around schools and residential areas. This system can also protect the beneficial insects, parasites or predators, livestock and other crops by improving on target spray deposition while minimizing off-site movement of chemicals. This research was conducted at the Digital Agriculture Lab at UC Davis and supported by the Almond Board of California.